And I have a microphone, I think. Hello, hello everyone. It is wonderful to be here. It's wonderful to be back, to be seen, to be seeing you in the chat, uh, because I love that so much. Um, yes, perfect. I am so glad. I uh, So I've not yet figured that out with, um, with OBS to where certain times my microphone is off and certain times another scene it is on anyway neither here nor there it is wonderful to be here it is wonderful to see everyone welcome it is the last tuesday of the month and although we have not yet been here uh for the past couple we are returning for the very last single teardrop episode of the monthly weird in which i rocket fox bring you the weird of the month but fear not, do not let your tears blind you because there is some really exciting stuff that's gonna be coming and I am super excited to share about it. Uh, but first, I know I said hi in chat, but I have to, of course. Uh, Rob, I see you, hello, Trooper, of course. Val, hello, Craghorst, Nolan West, uh, Cold Spider, so thrilled to see everybody here. Um, yeah, yeah, and... Uh, you know, it's it's been a minute. How how are you? How are you doing? Uh, that's that's one of the more important things. Um, I'm doing all right. Uh, it's been a long year already, uh, somehow, some way, and yet it's gone by so fast, and I find that really alarming. <laughs> um, and oh my gosh, Nolan West, a first timer. Oh my gosh, uh, we'll try and not totally shock you. No, I'm I'm lying. I'm I'm gonna try and throw you off as as quickly as possible. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So in case there is any other first timers, welcome. Well, hang on. Let's just here. Let's bring this in here a little bit. <clears throat> Hi, welcome. It's wonderful to have you here. It was a long and stormy night. Uh, but yes, no. Uh, so. Yeah, a little background on this, um, and I believe more episodes of The Monthly Weird are up on the VOD if you want to check it out on CyberNation Uncensored YouTube channel. There's a lot of fun things we get into, including, but not limited to, the mullet competition and who the winners were. Um, I That was one of my favorites. Um, but also, we did get into the world's oldest mouse coming in at 10 years old. 10 years old for a mouse. I think in people years, that's about 500. Um, so take from that what you will. But I believe last I checked, um, and I'm not going to look right now because I don't want to feel sad. Uh, last I checked, the mouse was still alive. So officially made its 10 year birthday. Um, just patented golf clap for you wherever you are. Um, it's in a zoo. The mouse is in a zoo. Um, I could tell you exactly where, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, but yes, as far as me, your guide on this weird journey, I am Rocket Fox. You can find me in a lot of places, but I'll get into that later uh, because I really want to get into this the last, again, episode of Monthly Weird. Um, so you may be wondering, Rocket, where have you been these past few months and where are you going? And to that I say, top secret business uh, is where I have been. Mostly that business involves me sleeping um, and being very stressed out with a lot of things. Uh, but where I am going is that we are going to actually have a new show. That's right. That is going to bum 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 take the place of Monthly Weird. And it's going to be produced by yours truly. That's right. I'm kind of going somewhere, but I'm also kind of not going anywhere. Pulled the wool over your eyes just to pull it back off again. Um, yes, we are going to be changing formats. So what is going to happen is that the new show I'm going to be producing is not going to be a um, live show in the way that we've been doing. So most of the time for Monthly Weird, I get on uh, once a month, the final Tuesday, and we hang out, we chat, and 
fear not because that is still going to happen. I'm still going to be here with you. I almost threw myself off my chair <laughs> and um, I'm still going to be ch in the chat chatting. Um, but the actual video portion is going to be pre-recorded, which what that is going to allow me to do is uh, Trooper. It's going to allow me to go into the best lyrical rhymes of the 80s and possibly of all time. <laughs> but uh, which, by the way, that song is still stuck in my head. Um, I don't remember who it was by because my memory is apparently shorter than even I thought. But um, for anyone who wants to check that out, it's called Jealous. It's from the 80s and it is, you know what, there's no words, no rhyming words that can really truly describe the experience of it. But I would highly recommend looking it up if you're interested. <laughs> um, but yeah, the show coming up is going to be pre-recorded. And so it's going to allow me to put a little more production um, and okay, my camera's back. Looks like my camera paused in a weird way. Uh, I looked even weirder than usual. Um, but, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh yes. Trooper. Thank you. It's, um, Jealous by Jean Loves Jezebel. Um, so consider that. Um, but yes. So the upcoming show is going to be called Oddity. And I'm going to type it in here so you can get the uh, pun. Uh, yeah, so it is basically the tea of the weird. Um, hashtag, trademark, copyright, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm super excited. I'm going to be able to do a lot more production and bring you stories that are not just necessarily from the month um, that we're following up, but it's going to be kind of weird stories from all over. Um, I'm going to be doing some interviews, some on location stuff, so you can prepare yourself for that fun. Um, and yeah, as a little, as a little preview, I actually have for you a video that I made and I produced um, to show you for this final episode of Monthly Weird. So, without too much further ado, I'm going to show you this video. And I hope that you like it. I hope that, in fact, you love it. And um, I hope that also you can hear it because I'm pretty sure I have this set up in a way that you're gonna be able to hear it, but we'll find that out shortly. Uh, if you notice any audio issues or anything like that, let me know and I will fix it to the best of my ability. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Hello, my love, and welcome to a brand new Monthly Weird. First and foremost, the elephant in the room, or rather the me floating in the void of space. You may notice if you've joined before that things are set up a little bit differently than generally we have in the past. Normally, I have come on and done a live stream of all of the weird and quirky news stories from the month. That includes crime, animals, science, anything that constitutes as weird. I am on it. You'll notice, however, that right now I am coming to you from a different time, pre-recorded, the past, the future, who knows? And there are a couple reasons for that. Reason number one is that it allows me the opportunity to do a little more high-end production and bring the stuff a little fancier, smooth things out a bit, which I am really excited to do for you. Reason number two is that we may just be trying to, uh, feature these fancy videos in other places, so stay tuned for that. Now, as much as I'm excited about this shift, I do love being able to communicate with everyone and chat with you in the chat if you are tuning in live. So please continue to do that because I will be there. I will be in the chat, we will be hanging out, and we can talk about some of the news stories and things like that that we're showing. But 
that being said, I hope that you enjoy this new format. It is a little more work on my end, but I'm really excited because I think it's going to be really worth it. So our first story comes to us a uh, hair before April. It was March 29th, but in Sacramento County, an individual named Omar Gabriel Munoz, which I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, came home expecting a package as many of us do with all the online ordering that's going on these days. And unfortunately, became victim to the porch pirates. Now, I don't know if anyone has experienced that, but it can be super, super frustrating. Uh, thankfully, I have not succumbed to the pirates myself. However, I have had it on occasion where the mail just straight up gets delivered to a different place. Uh, does not make me happy, but different issue altogether. Regardless, Omar comes home, is expecting this package that he had ordered, said it was delivered, should be there, came home, no package. Luckily, as technology has also advanced, so thus has the way to catch porch pirates. Looking back at his ring camera, Omar discovered that this particular porch pirate had donned a costume. And not just any costume. They didn't dress up like the postman or a UPS worker or even a mascot of a huge anthropomorphic animal. No, this individual decided on that day they would get into a trash bag and scoot toward the package to then take it into their folds of trash and scoot away. It was a bold move and after some initial anger, Omar could only laugh. Meanwhile, I can only think of one other thing to do. I did it! So, our next story comes again from the end of March, March 31st, which maybe there's not been a lot of strange crime in April yet. Hmm. We'll have to check back in on that later. But this happened in Willowick, Ohio, which is a great word to say. Please, just try saying it with me. Willowick. Ugh, there's something about it. Any Willowickians who might be watching this, let me know how it is there. I'm just very curious. It sounds it sounds very like fantastical, like a fantasy place. And I know that's not true, but I just want to believe. Anyway, this story is from the morning of March 31st at a Burger King. Now, in the mornings, I know how it can be. Tempers can be flaring, moods can be frictive. Uh, you haven't had your coffee yet. You're tired. You clearly haven't had breakfast because this story takes place at a Burger King. And on this day at this Burger King, there was a promotion going on for breakfast items. Delicious. Your girl loves a promotion and breakfast items, so sadly I was not there. However, somebody who was there was very, very salty on that day. Howard Vernon, who was working in the counter that morning, as with everyone else, rang this individual up, gave them their total with the promotion included, and this customer was not having it. Now, not for the reasons you might think. Most of us would tend to think, oh, maybe they thought the price was too high. Oh no, according to the customer, was too low. And that was unacceptable. There is no way a good breakfast could be so freaking affordable. So what did this customer do? They pulled out a gun. They pulled out a gun and demanded to be charged more because what? <laughs> I, listen, your girl, again, loves a deal. And on receiving one, I don't think my reaction would be threatening with a weapon. Now I will say, um, it is said that I cannot walk around in public with my hands in my pockets or else I'd be arrested for having concealed weapons. <laughs> But that is neither here nor there. What the hell? Who does this? Now, not only that, after pulling this gun, the customer waved it in Vernon's face and then called him some racial slurs, which I think we're starting to get to the bottom of uh, what was actually going on here. 
and before he could be stopped or apprehended, he ran to his car like a coward and drove away. Evidently, authorities are still in search of this gun-wielding promotion denier. So this next one comes to us from Allen, Oklahoma, and is based on the conviction that was just handed down the 17th of April this month. Even though the crime took place in July of 2022, it was weird enough that I really wanted to include it. So the story takes place when Larry Doyle Sanders, who was out fishing on a pond with his best friend, Jimmy Glenn Knighton, everything seemed to be going well when all of a sudden, Larry looked out at the edge of the pond, or small lake if you will, and saw three figures that he instinctively knew were Sasquatches. Now, in his mind's eye, Jimmy started acting a little suspicious, perhaps too suspicious, perhaps too comfortable with the fact that there were three squashes just, just traipsing along at the water's edge. So, Larry did what anyone in that circumstance would do. He strangled his best friend to death because he claimed later that it was self-defense because Jimmy was trying to, Jimmy was in cahoots with the Sasquatches and was, was bringing them over so that Larry would get eaten or killed. Um, and it was really self-defense, which is why that happened. Um, really why it happened is meth. That's, that's why it happened. Um, so be careful out there. Um, yeah, it's not great. It's not great. Our next and last crime story I have for you this evening comes from New York, where we learn that you are never too old to fulfill your dreams. You don't have to dream it you can do it. You can become and embody the entrepreneurial spirit that no one saw coming. NBC New York reported that Detective Nick Marcoon and his partner arrested the duo, 77-year-old Alfredo Rodriguez, and his partner, 54-year-old Hector Cortez, aka the shopping cart bandits. They took a look over those parking lots and they didn't just see bundles of meshed together metal on wheels. Oh no, they saw money. And they weren't wrong because stealing at least 140 shopping carts from the shop right, they sold them for $200 a piece wholesale and made upwards of $28,000, which makes me want to seriously reconsider a few of my life choices at this point. Anyway, the two of them are currently being held in jail, waiting to find out what happens next, but hopefully the ShopRite carts will remain safe for another day. Next up, I have a little bit of a story for you that uh, speaks to my heart. Oh, hang on. Mm. So, I love coffee. I thrive on coffee. Uh, only recently did I find out that I'm ADHD, which could have a significant role to play in that. However, this story deals with both coffee and the science of our robot overlords. That's right. For the very first time, a coffee roastery out of Finland has developed a particular flavor blend a uh, coffee bean situation that was designed by AI. Now, much like myself, the nation of Finland is a place that loves its coffee. So it's no surprise that the Helsinki-based Kaffa Roastery created the ai -conic blend in conjunction with a local AI consultancy called Alev. What came out of it was a well, AI-picked mixture that includes four different types of beans. And while I share some of the concerns about AI taking over various things, especially as an artist, I, for one, am curious to taste what the robot overlords want us to drink. So our next story is scientifically based as well and comes to us from India, where the fossilized remains of a giant snake were found. Now, this snake ranged between 36 to 50 feet long and would have weighed over a ton. 
which is bigger than a school bus. Now the current largest breed of snake in the world is not the anaconda, but if you thought that based on the film of the same name, I would not blame you. It turns out that it is actually the Asian reticulated python, which can grow up to 40 feet for the females. Luckily, uh, my boy Udon here is a male, so will not get quite that big. Well, look how sweet he is. <laughs> now our next story involves snakes as well, but in a bit of an uplifting sort of way. So this took place in Spennymoor of County Durham when police were called because there was a three foot corn snake on somebody's garage roof. Well, as it would happen, this snake was actually named Agnes and had been on the loose for about a year. A neighbor came out, spotted the snake on the roof, uh, who actually, it turned out, ended up there because a bird dropped it. Uh, so apparently the snake had been in brumation, which is ish for uh, us non-scientific folks, similar to hibernation, um, and then probably came out, took a little peek around, and then uh, got picked up as a meal to go. Luckily ended up getting dropped down onto the roof and was reunited with her happy owners. Our last story for today comes again from New York, where on April 19th in Times Square of New York City, Tonde Onokoya, a Nigerian chess master and champion and educational advocate for children playing chess, broke the Guinness Book of World Records by playing a chess marathon for over 60 hours. I'm imagining he probably played in a way that was really actually cool to watch and involved and, you know, like a chess master would play, not how I would play if I were breaking that record. Do you, do you want to go first? The previous record was a bit over 56 hours, and through this, Onokoya hopes to raise $1 million for children's education across Africa. So that is what I have for you this month. I really hope you enjoyed this new format. I hope that you stuck around for the whole thing. Please, please, please. Last Tuesday of every month, come on over to twitch.tv slash cybernationuncensored and watch live. Have a little chatsy with me. I'll be in the comments. I'll be in the chat. I'll be around. You'll know that I'm there. I'm pretty hard to miss with this green mop I have as of late. <laughs> Otherwise, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I hope you had a good time just as much as I had making this for you. And please take care of yourselves. Do something nice and weird for you because you deserve it. And I will catch you next time. My mic, there we go. So that is it. Also, my camera is all over the place. My hair is a little bit less green though these days, so. <laughs> but that is it. That is the uh, new format for Oddity. Um, I cannot promise you that we are still going to be on the last Tuesday of the month, but I'm thinking tentatively uh, that might be what we're shooting for. Um, Rob can correct me if I'm totally wrong on that. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, as you can tell, I can do more kind of sketch stuff involved, um, which I do enjoy. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited also to be doing more on location stuff and interview stuff. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be wild and it's going to be awesome. And speaking of wild and awesome, I want to also share really quick that I was part of a paranormal show and we have just released the first episode. Uh, so this 
show is called Liminal, um, and I will put in the chat where you can find all of the information on it. You can find the socials, you can find the episode, the full released episode on YouTube, and, um, hang on. Oh, I could type it or I could just copy it. Hang on. See, I'm coming in with big brain today. Uh, boom. Um, yeah, so it's called Liminal. It's a paranormal show that explores the crossroads of the paranormal and the spiritual with the um, experience of being in the world in the queer trans perspective, LGBTQIA+, all that. Um, what we did for the very first episode is we went down to Tennessee and explored the Bell Witch, did a lot of interviews, and then at the very end, I did, your girl did a little ritual that may have brought some nature out. Um, and by nature, I mean it was snakes. And by snakes, I mean it was actually snakes. Um, and it is very cool and we have it on video. Um, so that was very exciting. So definitely check the show out. It is something that we put a lot of time and effort into and we are super proud of it. Um, and also I think it really investigates the paranormal in a way that's super exciting and a way that I've not really seen done too much. Um, it was, <laughs> Nolan, un unfortunately it was not, well, Fortunately, unfortunately, it's a PG show. It was not Pocket Snakes, um, but it was Copperhead Snakes, and that was super exciting. Um, but the show is really exciting. I would love to know what you guys think if you want to take a look. And also, if you really like it, if you really, really like it and you want to see more, uh, we are actually crowdfunding production of the show. Uh, so... We have, and this is on the link that I shared as well for Linktree, um, a Seed and Spark campaign going, and we are already halfway to the next episode goal. Uh, we already have planned out where we're going to go, what we're going to do, what we're going to investigate, so some pretty exciting things there. So check it out. If you can't support it in a way that involves a crowdfunding thing, just give it a watch, give it a comment. Um, all of that's super helpful. And let us know what you think. That is also helpful. And also, if you think good things, it makes me feel good. And that is helpful for me just personally. <laughs> um, but yeah, any other places you can catch me, if you want to see more of what I'm doing, um, stream-wise, and Trooper can speak to this, we are going to be coming back for another season of Traveler, Pirates of Drynax. Think space pirates but so much else has happened since then that uh it's yeah it's it's real there's so much and it's it's a lot of adventure it's a lot of spiciness there's mind reading going on um it's amazing and it has pretty much in my own opinion an all-star cast I'm not trying to you know, be biased or toot my own horn, but I am very honored and privileged to perform with an amazing group. Um, so definitely check that out over on Trooper SJP's channel. That is going to be Friday night starting in September, or no, the, the last week of August. I should really know that off the top of my head. Um, and other than that, though, I post a lot of nonsense over on Instagram, on TikTok sometimes, on Facebook, in the social areas. First week of September. Trooper, thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I post stuff over there. I'm also a visual artist and illustrator, and I am currently a tattoo apprentice, so I am posting, uh, tattoo work that I'm doing, and I'm about to be, uh starting on human sacrifices. I mean, human flesh, uh, people. I'm going to be starting on people soon. So, <laughs> uh, but yes, so that is what I have. Thank you so much, everyone, for jumping in on this. And yeah, make sure to give a follow to Cyber Nation Uncensored. There's shows going on here all the time. Um, Talk Nerdy to Me is an awesome one. Uh, there's live play. There's all sorts of good stuff. And there's also a Discord if you want to go over there. It's pretty lively, a lot going on. Um, also, give a follow to Trooper and you can hang out with when we do uh, the gamblers because it's a lot of fun over there. And lastly, but hopefully not leastly, 
give a check out or a follow to your second favorite gal, Rocket Fox. That's me. Um, and definitely stay in touch. I am so glad for anyone who was able to make it over to hang out for the transitionary last episode of Monthly Weird moving into first of uh, Oddity, which I'm, again, super excited about. Um, thank you, new people. It is amazing to have you here. It's amazing to have you in chat. Nolan West, H Hegory, Hegory, Hegory5. I am so sorry if I am butchering that. Um, and of course, Trooper, amazing. Rob, amazing. Um, cold spider amazing um and dr squiggums so good to see you and val it was wonderful to have you craghorse amazing you're all amazing you're all wonderful you are the best and i am so honored to have you here tonight or today depending on where on the planet you are make sure to take a moment do something for yourself treat yourself to some nice be nice to yourself you deserve it just treat yourself to a little something. It could be a nap. It could be, um, I guess if it's getting too late, you could also just go to sleep. Um, you know, maybe a little snacky snack or something like that. Uh, pat on the back even. A nice self-hug. Those can be really nice. But otherwise, until the next time, take care of you. If you have it in you, take care of somebody else. And I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>